Hi, I'm about to show you how to create an animation using Adobe Flash Professional CS5 and the animation will look something like this. The moon orbiting the earth. So I'll be showing you step by step how to create a final effect such as this. So I'll begin by clicking on File New, Action Script 3.0. OK. This white area here represents the window of the animation. I can do a right mouse button click over the top of that and click on Document Properties. The dimensions can be altered. I'll increase the width from 550 pixels to 560 pixels and the height down to 350 pixels. The background color will be black. This background layer will also contain the Earth. So I'll double click here and I'll rename this layer Earth. I'll create the Earth by clicking on the rectangle tool. The fill color for the rectangle will be blue green. Rectangle options, all positive 100. So as a circle can be created. I'll left click down, drag out an area. I'll click on my selection tool and move that a little bit to the left. And that is planet Earth in outer space. The length of my animation, the duration will be about 40 frames worth. So at the 40 frame mark in the timeline, I'll do a right mouse button click and insert a keyframe. Now I'm pretty happy with that, so I'll lock it in so it's not accidentally altered. And then I'll move down here, I'll move my mouse icon, my pointer, to the bottom left corner of the window and click on the new layer button. I'll double click right here and rename this layer Moon 1. This will contain the first half of the animation for the moon. Now if it's 40 frames worth, this animation should go for about 20 frames. I'll drag this to the this last uh, frame that's part of layer Moon 1 to the 21 frame mark. And I'll click on frame 1 inside layer Moon 1. So now I'll create the moon. I'll click on the rectangle tool. The fill color is yellow. Rectangle options remain unchanged for a circle. I'll left click down and drag out an area. That's my moon. Click on frame one and do a right mouse button click. I'll click on create motion tween. Yes, I do want to convert this to a symbol. OK. I'll click here on frame 20. I'll click on my selection tool and I'll drag this object across to the other side. Now that dotted line there represents the motion of my moon. I'll click on frame one and press enter from the keyboard. Just goes across. So I'll click here on frame 20. I'll move my mouse, my pointer to this dotted line. The base of the pointer should have uh, an arc. I'll left click down and drag that down. 
So now if I click on frame one and press enter, it follows that movement. So that's the first half of the moon's motion, and now for the second half. I'll again I'll move my mouse to the bottom left corner of this of the window and I'll click on new layer. The name of this new layer will be Moon 2. This will continue exactly where where the first or just after the first half of the motion finished. So I'll do a right mouse button click inside layer Moon 2 on frame 21 and I'll insert a keyframe. I'll click here on Moon 1. I'll click on the Moon there and do a right mouse button click and copy it. I'll click on frame 21 of layer Moon 2 do a right mouse button click and paste in place. I'll click on layer Moon 2 frame 21 again, do a right mouse button click and click on Create Motion Tween. Now I'll click on frame 40 in Moon 2 and I'll define the final position of the moon. Now the final position of the moon in moon 2 should correspond to the starting position of the moon in moon 1. So in moon 1 my x value is 108 it, it'll be 108 in terms of the x coordinate In Moon 2, it should be 108. I'll just double click that. Type in 108 and see how close I can get to it. Yeah, it's pretty close. And I'll move my mouse towards the arc. I'll left click down and drag it up. I'll click on Frame 1 and press Enter. That's pretty close to it. But I want Moon 2 to take the Moon behind the Earth. So I'll take Moon 2, the layer Moon 2, and I'll left click down and I'll drag it below the Earth layer. I'll click on Frame 1 and I'll press Enter once more. Not bad. So now I'll save my work. File, Save. And I'll save this flash file as orbit. And this orbit.fla will exist inside the folder new flash. The last thing I'll do is I'll click on control, test movie, in Flash Professional. And this will create the SWF file in the same folder as my flash file. So what I've done is I've created an effect which is almost exactly the same as the one I showed you initially.